Say he did that. It's a lot of trouble. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. Fa inna asdaq al-hadithi kitabullah wa khair al-hadi. Hadi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وشار أمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد tonight the 25th night of the month of Safar 1440 after the Hijrah of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم from مكة to Medina 1440 1440 after the hijrah of the messenger alayhi salatu wassalam from makkah to medina we continue in the reading of the three fundamental principles by shaykh muhammad ibn abdul wahhab at tamimi rahimahullah rahmatan wasi'a with the explanation of shaykh salih al fawzan hafizahullah and tonight we're going to be reading few footnotes from shaykh ahmed ibn yahya al najmi رحمه الله رحمة واسعة. We left off with after the دليل that indeed the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم will die and he he died that the مؤلف he say والناس إذا ماتوا يبعثون that the people that after they all die they will be resurrected and the دليل is found in Surah Taha, verse number 55, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, مِنْهَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he says, مِنْهَا meaning from the earth, خَلَقْنَاكُمْ we created you. وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ and from it, Meaning you be returned, meaning to the grave, to the tombs. And he mentioned, وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ And you will be rising up, تَارَةً أُخْرَى You will be given life again for the second time. He mentioned, حَفِظَهُ اللَّهُ Shasal al-Fawzan, he said, He said, in this verse, He said, لَا أَحَدْ there is no individual, there is no one that will miss the day of resurrection. He said, فَهَذَا الْبَحْثِ حَقٌ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ He said, this resurrection, it is the truth, and there is no shadow of a doubt with it. The ba'th, the resurrection, there is no shadow of a doubt in regard to it. And he said, وَمَنْ أَنْكَرَهُ فَهُوَ كَافِرٌ بِاللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ Whomsoever deny and disbelieve in the resurrection, he has indeed disbelieved in Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. He said, وَالْإِيمَانُ بِالْبَحْثِ هُوَ أَحَدُ أَرْكَانِ السِّتَّةِ لِلْإِيمَانِ أَلَّتِي قَالَ فِيهَا النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ أَن تُؤْمِنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَتُؤْمِنَ بِالْقَدَرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ And he said that the belief in the resurrection it is one of the pillars of the six pillars of Al-Iman. In that which the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, meaning detailing the six pillars of Al-Islam, is that you believe in Allah, in the angels, in the books, in the prophets, the last day, and you believe in the predecree, the predestination, the good and the bad. فَمَنْ لَمْ يُؤْمِنْ بِالْبَحْثِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَإِنَّهُ يَكُونُ كَافِرًا بِاللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّهِ وَلَوْ شَهِدَ 
بأن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمدا رسول الله ولو صلى وصام وحج وزكى وفعل الطاعات فإذا أنكر البحث أو شك فيه فإنه يكون كافرا بالله عز وجل He say حفظه الله شيخ صالح الفوزان he said He say whomsoever does not believe in the resurrection whomsoever does not believe in the resurrection He say حفظه الله whomsoever does not believe in the resurrection does not believe in the last day He say he is a disbeliever he disbelieve in Allah even if even if he bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship in truth but Allah even if he bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah even on the top of that he prays he fast and he gives zakat and he perform the hajj wa fa'ala at-ta'at and he do all acts of obedience to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala if the bottom line is fa idha ankara al-bahth if he if he disbelieve and renounce and deny the bath mean the resurrection aw shakka fihi or he have any type of doubts in regard to the resurrection fa innahu yakunu kafiran billahi azza wa jalla he by way of the disbelief in the resurrection by way of having doubts about the resurrection he became a disbeliever disbelieving in Allah the mighty and the majestic even if he say ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah even if he say ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah he prays he fasts he perform the hajj he give the zakat and the like so this if he doesn't believe in the resurrection then this is disbelief this is a complete disbelief he say that the proofs in regard to the bath they are many the proofs that establish the bath they are many meaning the proofs of showing that the resurrection is something that will take place they are many you have those adilla dala aqli and you have those dalil dada nadari another is something that you have by experience right even though if i would ask you uh, okay i will take that but based on adilla you have both adilla where are they are sam'i and they are aqli on in pertaining to this area in this issue this masala but if you say another it is something that you have observed and so from the observation you deducted it so give me example they are they are Yes. No meaning in the bath in the in the existence of the resurrection. Alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah. Yeah, but you don't see no by the resurrected yet. No, no, we talking about in that, but let me yes, give me one. In what we talking about right now? In the bath. Yes. from a dalil a nadhari a dalil that is what from by observation we can derive that it will really take place the bath will take place na'am muhammad for example like how you said like about the leaves na'am taban very good very good. but we talking about here death that's a very good point that chef fawza will mention but let's talk about death as you mentioned it but does it mean that you are alive this is the hayatul barzakhiyah that is but this different adam well we come to that adam well i'm not that was dead and was brought back to life ha huh? no that's different you have what is called al mawtul asghar wa an akbar this different We talking about here death where it is really it was dead لو تاملنا بكتاب الله if we would have contemplated upon few verses in the Quran right us one you you asking me 
All right. Let's take let's Sheikh Ahmed Sheikh Ahmed ibn Yahya al Najmi, rahimahullah. He gave us the proofs, and these are number one. They are adilla that are ash, aqli, but they are adilla that are what also shari, right? So he mentioned that in the Quran, Allah Tabaraka wa Taala talks about a people that was once dead. And they were given back life. Number one, when from the people of Badu Israel, a person killed his relative, nobody knew who killed him. And they went to Musa to rule, to judge between them. And Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala commanded them, right, to do what? To slaughter an yadbahu bakara, to slaughter a cow. When they slaughtered a cow, Allah Ta'ala commanded them to hit the dead person with one of the bones of the cow. And he came back alive and said that Fulan who waladi katalani. He said that so and so was the one that killed me. Right? Right? You all remember this verse, right? The other one is a person marra ala qaryatin. A person passed by a dead area. And he asks, how in the word Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala will bring back life to this? Fa'amatahu Allah. Mi'ata am. Allah Ta'ala caused him to die. Mi'ata amin. How many years? A hundred years. Qala kam labithta. Qala labithu yawman aw ba'da yaw. Qala bal labithta mi'ata amin. How many years were you remaining in the situation of this death, dead, the individual was dead for a year, for a hundred years. When he was resurrected, brought back to life, he was asked, How long were you there? Mada ajaba, mada qala, yawman, aw ba'da yawm. A day, or portion of the day, or part of the day, or half of the day. So Allah Ta'ala mentioned, tell him that this is how we resurrect. The dead one and give them life after death. Another one which is very similar that we recited on every Friday. Right? The people of Kahfi. Ashabul Kahfi. Right? 